All right, we're 5-0 and with a push in our last $6.99 daily best plays on BrockPage.com. And the link for today's $1.99 daily best play is in the description section below. $1,000 bettors are up over $4,500 during that span. Now, if you're not signed up for that package or if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll explain a little bit more about it in just a moment. But before we go ahead and move on, just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the video. My name is Brock Page and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal bets on BrockPage.com. And packages on that website start at just $1.99. Now the purpose of these YouTube videos is to provide you with free informational sports betting content. And it's also designed to generate interest in signing up for a membership on my website. Now you may be wondering what the difference is between what I do here on YouTube and what I do on my website. Well, what I do here on YouTube is I'll handicap the entire slate of games in any given sport, side, and total. And what I do on my website is, well, actually share with you which one of these free YouTube picks on my channel that I'm actually betting on personally. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and dive into our part two video here today for Sunday. Uh, part one's already out, so uh, I'll include a link in the uh, description section below to where you can watch that. But let's go ahead and dive into part two. We're going to start with the Clippers taking on the Rockets, 7 o'clock Eastern tip-off on Sunday, February 27th, 2022. The LA Clippers are minus seven with a total at 229. But as good as the Clippers have been here recently, well, they've struggled to cover against Houston in recent meetings. So if you're into historical trends, you certainly want to pay attention to this one. LA failed to cover in six out of their last 10 contests against Houston. They allowed over 114 points a game during that span. And speaking of defensive woes, the Clippers are amongst the worst defensive rebounding teams in the entire association. These guys are currently in the bottom three in road defensive boards. They're taking on a Houston club who covered recently against the likes of Phoenix and Cleveland despite their struggles this year. Now, uh, the Rockets are also scoring the majority of their points late in games, so that back door is potentially always wide open. doesn't really matter how much they're getting beat by. Uh, they score the majority of their points later in the ballgame, and as, a, as a, a matter of fact, the Rockets currently find themselves in the top 10 in fourth quarter scoring. So when it comes to the number, don't count these guys out. Now, Christian Wood, he's averaging over 17 and a half points a game along with double digit rebounds. Meanwhile, Eric Gordon's drilling 41% of his three pointers. He also scores 14 points a game. Now, injury wise, Porter and Garuba are questionable for Houston. Meanwhile, for the Clippers, Preston and Powell are still out indefinitely for them. When it comes to the total in this one, seven out of the Clippers' last 10 ball games got over the line. They also went 70% to the over in their last 10 meetings with Houston. Meanwhile, on the other side of things, the Rockets, they went 17-9 and nine to the over as the official home team. I'm going to go ahead and lean toward Houston, plus seven in the over, 229. Next contest, it is going to be Pistons versus the Hornets, 7 p.m. Eastern start time. Charlotte's minus 9.5, totals 229. Despite laying nearly double-digit points in this spot here, the Hornets have done a nice job covering the number here recently. They're actually 4-1 against the spread in their last five ball games, And they've also gone 8-2 against the spread in their last 10 contests against the Pistons. Now, when it comes to head-to-head -to -head meetings, Charlotte's gone 10-0 straight up in their last 10 against Detroit. They also limited the Pistons to just 100 points a game during that span. Now, as far as this year's concern, Charlotte's in the top three in offensive rebounding at home. They're actually averaging more points per contest than any other team in the NBA. LaMelo Ball averages just about 20 points a game, along with seven boards and seven and a half assists. Meanwhile, Miles Bridges, he scores over uh, 19 and a half points per contest himself, along with seven rebounds and three assists as well. Now, when it comes to defensive play in this one, surprisingly, the Hornets are in the top 10 in defensive three-point percentage on the road. 
They're taking on a Pistons team who lost 13 out of their last 16. And they come into Sunday's ball game with a 166 win percentage on the road. Yikes. Now, scoring-wise, well, <laughs> nobody scores fewer points per contest away from home than Detroit. Uh, these guys are averaging only 101 points a game when traveling. Meanwhile, defensively, the Pistons are dead last in the league in guarding the three ball. Uh, one more thing to add as well, uh, as I'm crapping all over Detroit, uh, they're letting their opponents make just about 50% of their field goals against them on the road. Now, injury-wise, Jackson and Bagley are questionable for the Pistons. Meanwhile, for Charlotte, Richards and McDaniels, they are questionable for them. Hayward is also listed as out. When it comes to the total in this one, Charlotte saw three out of their last five get over the line. Those were overs against the likes of Minnesota, Memphis, and this very Detroit team. Meanwhile, the Pistons went 3-0 and to the over in their last three themselves. 5-1 and to the over in their last six. I'm going to lean towards Charlotte, minus 9.5 in the over, 229. Next contest, it is going to be Mavericks versus the Warriors, 7.30 p.m. East. Golden State's minus four totals, 219.5. And, and despite their recent slump, uh, the Warriors are still very good at the Chase Center this year. Really not many teams out there that are better than these guys or even close to these guys, uh, you know, when it comes to home games. Uh, I'll tell you this much. Uh, the Warriors are 26-6 and six at home this year. And that's good for over 81% in that particular category. That's why I'm pretty excited about this, you know, four-point spread here. I think this is a number that we can uh, definitely cover here today. Now, when it comes to defensive play, there's really not many in the West who do it better than the Warriors. These guys allow only 101 points a game at home. And they're leading the NBA in home defensive field goal percentage. Now, scoring-wise, when it comes to offensive production, Steph Curry is averaging over 25.5 points a game, along with five rebounds and six and a half assists. Meanwhile, Andrew Wiggins, he's shooting 41% from three land. He's also averaging over 17.5 points a game. And speaking of three-pointers, Golden State's in the top three in the NBA in offensive three-point percentage at home. They're taking on a Dallas team who struggles a bit offensively themselves. These guys are currently in the bottom 10 in scoring on average per game. They're amongst the worst in the West in offensive rebounding. And when it comes to shooting the basketball, the Mavs are also in the bottom 10 in offensive field goal percentage. Now, injury-wise, Burke, Chris, and Nilakina are questionable. Hardaway is still out indefinitely. Meanwhile, for Golden State on the other side of things, Iguodala is out. Thompson is questionable. When it comes to the total in this one, Golden State's seen 61% of their home games fall under the line. The Warriors also saw unders recently with Utah, OKC, and Houston. Meanwhile, Dallas on the other side of things, they saw five out of their last eight fall under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward Golden State, minus four, and the under, 219 and a half. Next contest, it is going to be Nuggets versus the Blazers, 9 p.m. Eastern tip-off. Denver's minus eight with a total at 227 and a half. But despite the Nuggets' current hot streak, I do have some concerns with them covering this large number on the road. Now, for one, the Nuggets don't really uh, rebound all that well offensively. These guys are currently in the bottom 10 in offensive boards per game. Meanwhile, on the defensive end of the court, Denver's also had a tough time guarding the field goal as well. The Nuggets are currently in the bottom 10 in defensive field goal percentage. When it comes to head-to-head -head meetings in this one, Denver's allowed over 117 points per contest in their last 10 meetings with Portland. And speaking of the Blazers, they won four out of their last five themselves. And they failed to cover the point spread only once during that stretch. Now, when it comes to shooting the three ball, well, Portland's still in the top 10 in the NBA in home offensive three-point percentage. Josh Hart is draining over 42% of his shots from beyond the arc with his new team. Hart's also averaging 21 points a game with the Blazers. Meanwhile, Anthony Simons, he's making over 40% of his three-pointers himself. He's also averaging 17 points a game. Now, injury-wise, Bledsoe, Nurkic, and Silva are out for the Blazers. 
Winslow is also listed as questionable. Meanwhile, for Denver on the other side of things, Najee is questionable for them. When it comes to the total, Denver did see unders recently with the likes of Sacramento, Toronto, and Boston. Meanwhile, for Portland on the other side, they went 60% to the under in their last 10. I'm going to lean toward Portland plus 8. And the under 227.5. And, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup of the show. It is going to be Pelicans versus the Lakers, 10 p.m. Eastern star time. The L.A. Lakers are minus 1.5, totals 222. But despite the Lakers' recent struggles... They've beaten the Pelicans in eight out of their last 10 meetings together. They also averaged 118 points per contest during that stretch. And speaking of offensive production, LA is in the top 10 in the league in offensive field goal percentage. LeBron James is averaging over 28 and a half points a game along with eight rebounds and six assists. Meanwhile, Russell Westbrook, he's averaging over 18 points a game himself along with seven rebounds and seven assists as well. Now, when it comes to the scoring in this one, the Lakers uh, really like to do their damage late in games. LA's currently the top five in the NBA in fourth quarter scoring at home. They're taking on a Pelicans team who got the W in just 11 out of 30 contests away from home. And in addition to that, they're actually amongst the worst road scoring teams in the entire NBA. Now, New Orleans scores just 104 points per contest when traveling. And in addition to that, they're actually making only 32% of their three-pointers in that very same category. When it comes to the injury report in this one, Nance is still out indefinitely for the Pels. Meanwhile, for Los Angeles, Bradley's still out for them. And uh, actually, I'm just getting a recent report that uh, LeBron is questionable with some knee soreness. Uh, just saw him on the injury report, which is... Uh, Extremely unfortunate because uh, he actually wasn't on the injury report at all earlier this morning. So keep an eye on his status. I'm pretty optimistic he'll play. But even, even uh, if he doesn't, L.A. should be able to beat this Pelicans team at home. But uh, I'm looking forward to seeing him play. I think he's going to be in action here uh, despite that late addition to the injury report. Now, total-wise, three out of L.A.'s last four ball games fell under the posted number. Meanwhile, the Pelicans saw unders recently with Phoenix, Toronto, and Miami. I'm going to lean toward the Lakers, minus one and a half, and the under, 222. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Don't forget to check me out on BrockPage.com. Now, if you guys do end up getting a membership here today on my website, just keep in mind, you're going to get billed the day you sign up, and then the first of every month following that, I always tell folks in every single video, the earlier in the month you sign up, the better. And guys, if you want to get access to every single pick that I give out on that website, you're going to want to sign up for my board member tier package, where board members not only get access to the board member tier bed itself, you actually get access to every single package that I uh, offer on that website. It's an all-inclusive membership. But most importantly, guys, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Sunday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at brockpage.com.